that she is. Okay. O forty four, you said. Oh, that thingy. You mean what that actually is? Yeah, I mean, it's an emblem of men, but presumably that's from two machinography or something. Somebody was carrying a similar thing. Those are the moments when- so I Was it like a scepter, You a, a thing on a stick? Like- No idea. Um, have you, have we tried to Google it yet? Not that I remember. Sechem scepter, war scepter, no, we don't want that one. Let's see if there's a polychrome. What's that polychrome yep. website? Polychrome hieroglyph. On, how do we? There's a lot of things here on the screen. That didn't help. Um, PCHP, is that it? I can never remember. <laughs> no, that's not it. <laughs> PHRB. Hmm. P H R B. Polychromatic research. Wait, what is P? Polychromatic hieroglyphic research project. P H R P. Okay, P H R P. Man. <laughs> there it is. Facebook. Um, Okay, I give up. Let's just go to the Facebook page. <laughs> I'm sure I have a bookmark somewhere. P H R P B E. Okay. And science. Can you just enter it somewhere? Otherwise, let's just scroll down. O forty four. Where are you? Here. Ah. Huh. Pretty. Hmm. Emblem erected outside the temple of Min. Okay. That says it all, I guess. I uh, really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> Mm. I tried a Google search for Scepter of Man, and all I found is a World of Warcraft artifact. <laughs> this doesn't look much like it. <laughs> Scepter of Min. I was actually expecting something else. So I guess consider yourself lucky. lucky. No, no I, I think no, 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 no. they do a remarkably good job of filtering out those images. Mm, okay. <laughs> all right. Should we go straight back to the text? But it really, like, is that a, that really looks like a W curl to me, but. Or like a hundred curl. Yeah. Oh yeah, more like the hundred one. It is it going the wrong way? Yeah. I guess they don't tell you the reading direction on these pictures, but. But you're right, really if it's, if it's normal. Hmm. Okay, now I'm curious. It must be, well, hmm, that's interesting. I guess left to right on this one, because in our text, it's the other way. Oh, yeah. The fetish of the temple of Min. Or is that fetish? In any case. Fetish. Fetish, right? Thank you. Min fetish, which sounds like an odd fetish to have. Oh, you're gonna, we're going to get weird stuff now. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> really? You'll never Google the word fetish. What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Mm. Min emblem? Not really, huh? Hmm. 
There must be some obscure research uh, paper somewhere what that is. So the profession emblem hieroglyph is probably the Wikipedia category we want. One more time, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I guess my audio is not working. One of the hits you had on the previous page was a Wikipedia category for professional emblem hieroglyph. Okay, here we go. Which is, sounds like what we we're talking about. I take directions. I mean, so they break it down. Yep, they do. They say that's a V one and a call one hundred. So that's the W's. Yeah. I mean, it does look like the uh, V one is different, different from Z seven. Oh. Yes, it is. Longer, longer tail. Hmm. Is there an actual image of it? Let's see. No wiki data found. Oh, it is. Oh, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. So it is a thing. And I can really see what it is. Yeah. So that looks like that's a lotus, isn't it? Okay, then. Well, what's that at the bottom? I mean, some kind of plant. And then the horns, just like an oop, and then the, the 100 coil. Oh, actually, here it's connected to something. Yeah. Is it connected, or is that just a damage mark? No, it may just be damaged, you're right. It's right there at the crack. Yeah. It's probably been reassembled. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's what it looks like. Is there more? Mm -hmm. But it does have some decoration below the horns, which you can kind of see in the polychrome picture, but it's so blurry, it's hard to tell. But there's a lot more detail there. You mean this here, right? Yeah. I mean, it's some kind of flower, but I just don't know what exactly. Something plant-like. Although when you look closely, something's tied here, actually. This looks like robes. I don't know. I'm not really mm -hmm. good at that iconography of, of things like this. So is that the temple? <laughs> it looks kind of temple-ish, like a, like a pylon. Yeah, that totally looks like the entrance. The, the top is weird. The top is weird, right? The top looks more like a, I don't know. It's like a bundle of reeds thing. Right. Well, I think there was at least one more. Mm, X out. <laughs> Which one do we want next? Well, there's the temple. Oh, wow. Look at the temple. It has something on top of it. But no. Not the thing that we're looking for. How about here? Yeah, I don't see it. Do you see it? I don't. I did not see it there, no. Oh, OK. Gotcha. It's weird. I don't know. Sometimes wow. where these are linked. Looks like the one we're looking at was our best bet. Nothing here. Okay, well, in any case, now we know what it looks like. We don't know what it is. I'm guessing you could probably, like I said, there must be some paper on it. Hmm. And what this is really, really puzzles me. I mean, that doesn't look like a temple at all. Just the, the part down here does. Would be interesting. Well. So they say the stick is the M13 Waj papyrus reed. Okay. 
don't know if I believe that from the picture, but from 13. So it's papyrus, they're not lotus. That makes sense. The first thing I thought was that's what Wiki said papyrus, and I mentally corrected to, well, but that doesn't look like that. Well, I guess it does. <laughs> there you go. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The earlier ones. <laughs> Sorry, still learning how to do this. Uh -huh. Is there a trick to it? Ah, click and click and drag. Well, yeah. It sort of looks like it. All right. Well be a research topic if we get bored and try and find somebody's paper on what the emblem so. actually could, is. Yeah, you could probably search for Min Temple and see whatever is, is left over of those. There was a paper that um, Kevin had posted and about set, and that took me to another paper which talked about how um, basically temples were closed uh, due to several um, um, Emperor's edicts that basically for, uh, forbade any any places of pagan worship to still be um, in operation. <laughs> kind of interesting. So if you go through that, it's it's easy to see why a lot of those structures would not be available anymore. <laughs> basically, massive iconoclasm. But where were we? We were. Uh... There. This one, right? Yeah, we were on this sentence, and I made it way more complicated than it needed to be. I still don't know what that verb form is. I think it's probably something from Middle Egyptian. So anybody who knows Middle Egyptian better, help me out. Um, but it really seems we, we all agreed on the meaning, right? Um, without any of them knowing how to do it. Um, and so this is really just negation, no, with the subject afterwards. So not any god knows the doing of it. Um, and this is not something specific late Egyptian, I think, from anything I could find. So is that just a carryover for Middle Egyptian question mark? Um, so just a Sejim F with the F being a nominal uh, god in this case. I don't remember how the negation works in Middle Egyptian. I remember it's complicated because somehow like the tensor switch and something of that nature, uh, like, um, should say- Here we that. go. The, ne the negation, Nin Sejimath, you probably can't read that, but. <laughs> uh, which book, which page? So that's Alan, third edition, two, seven, page 279. Alan, third edition. So the Sejimath can be regulated says it has a future meaning, but it's the negative counterpart of the EUF air session. Oh, but this is ni sejimath, not nen sejimath. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it nen sejimath? No, oh, that's nen. Page 282. In Alan? Yeah. Oh, here we go, Sub subject. So Middle Egyptian, it would be Ni Sejimath, presumably for the past or non-future. Non but the question is, is that Ni or is that Nen? Because I think the writing is kind of ambiguous in late Egyptian. I think you're right. Could be either. And honestly, you could take it as a future too. None of them will know how to do it. Like if it wasn't. None of them will be able to do it but me. Right. Yeah. So either way, I guess. So is this, this is, and this is not late Egyptian because we would expect a boo or a ben there? 
We expect a what in there? A boo or a ben instead of a knee? Um, I think the, um, both Journey and Cavalier have it somewhere that, that the, um, the nun can stand for ben. So okay. perfectly, more like a, and who knows how that's pronounced, but uh, they say that that still is common, um, that you find sentences with this, where you would otherwise expect a burn. Okay. Yeah. I just thought it would be neat if the gods typically speak Middle Egyptian, but the narrative is in late Egyptian or something. But... That would be kind of interesting if they, they really had any kind of register differences, right? I did notice it, for example, I mean, my Chinese is still kind of, but um, like, for example, a journey to the West, different people speak with more or less modern Chinese. Uh, the monkey god has a more formal version, I think, um, than some of the commoners. And uh, I think that occurs, I've heard that that, that occurs in, in, uh, uh, in Indian writings as well, between Sanskrit and Prakrit, different characters speaking, speaking different, uh, different versions, but not knowing either. I have no idea to what degree that's true and common, but yeah, that would be interesting, right? If there was like a like a lexical or register difference, um, no idea. We'll get there <laughs> someday. Someday. Okay, next one. Evan, do you want it? <clears throat> Um, U E Seshep, no Shesep, Shesep, right? Shesep, Shesep, um, Ta Iout and Isre. Um, I think this is I should. I think U E is I should because we've seen that before. So I should receive the office of Osiris. Yeah, um, a ye would be a, a ye. Oh, wait, I should receive. Why I should? I, I have it in my notes. We came across it earlier in the text and I wrote it down mm. that um, you plus pronoun, I'll read exactly what I wrote. You plus pronoun equals future, you nen, we should. So it must have been you nen, the example we saw before. This is when Christian was with us. He explained mm -hmm. that it would we, we would translate as we should. So I think this okay, is an that, example of that, that same thing. I mean, I I thought it was future three. So future three would be you plus pronoun plus R. So I am towards. Um, and I guess that could be I should or I shall. And I've noticed in this text you often doesn't write the R. So you know, Ram uh, Ramsey's online might show that because they always put little parentheticals when he leaves something out. You are reading my mind. I was just thinking the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't help, does it? Um, how do I get there quickly, not having saved it? Really? Uh-huh, yep. It's there. This one? Yeah, there we go. Page 24. Not 243. <laughs> <laughs> Not that many. Please. Not yet. <laughs> I mean, it's a good story, but that's, that's a bit too much. Mm, Bingo. Yeah. Like you said. So yeah, it's, it's, it's simply a future three then. And in, in Coptic, that would become EA. So like E plus pronoun um, plus R. I'm oh, sorry, I mean R in, 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 uh, in uh, hieroglyphic Egyptian. So um, I think ek A would Which be- Which is also E. Yeah, exactly. A K F A S A S S something like this for the, and I skipped the second singular female because I just don't know how, how that would sound like. Um, is that Ete? I don't know. But in any case, the other ones I'm pretty sure about. 
in a we will, we are towards. So that makes sense. Shesep to receive in Coptic shop. Um, Yaw doesn't survive. And then of Osiris, yep. Anything more that could be said about it? I think pretty straightforward, right? Want to go on? Should I continue? Yes. Okay. Um, when in. When in um, San Herjed, uh, Ma'a to Sutech Sanut. So then they said, upon saying, then they said, um, Right, true, right, is the son of Newt. The son of Newt is right. Mm -hmm. Seth, the son of Seth, right. son of Newt is Seth correct. Seth yes. Is correct. Yeah. Yep. Agree. I like how the chorus of gods is just like swayed one way or the other. I know. They have a discussion. So Wh quickly, whatever like, anybody said less, that was it. <laughs> yeah. They just want to go home. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> it's almost like you have a chorus there in the background, right? That amplifies whatever the person before has just said. Like you have all these extra voices. There. Yep, yep, he's right, he's right. Here, here. Yeah, that's really interesting. Hmm. Very different from a Greek chorus, which is supposed to comment on the action and right. provide you're more right. yeah. It's not like a Greek chorus, you're right. <laughs> well, shall we look at the hieratic? Mm -hmm. So we are, we are here with a tiny U, the man, almost, it's, it's hard a to, a very tiny man. Yeah. Very <laughs> tiny man, yes. One of the 42 gnomes. Um, but I love the cucumber frame. The cucumber? Oh, this thing. Isn't that what that is? That's a cucumber frame? <laughs> the cucumber frame? I didn't I know have that. that in my head too, for some reason. There must be something to that. Oh, that's I funny. think so. Because like, that's the verb, right? Like, you're, you're, you're doing your farm work and then you're going to receive something. <laughs> love it. That's cool. I don't know. That's how I remember it. <laughs> Shut up. That's great. Should I look it up? <laughs> Why not? And while you edit, anyway. have the, the the glyph number, because I'm wondering about that that bar at the bottom. That doesn't look very much like the. Oh, it does. So this is the top, and this is the bottom, huh? Is that how that works? Yeah, must be. Yeah, it's like trellis and a string or something that they're climbing. Uh, exactly, exactly. I'll have to find it. I don't What's remember the, <laughs> the number. O forty two. O forty two, Wombit was there. Um, we were. <laughs> it's right before the emblem of men. That's right. So Alan just calls it a fence. So I don't know why I thought. Isn't it? Maybe it's in the word cucumber. It must be in the That's word cucumber, I cucumber because I they, I have the same association. It it must be in that word. So quite straightforward, actually. Let me look at that. So that would suggest to me, um, essentially, big horizontal top. Oh, look top. at that, Seshep or Shesep. No wonder I was confused. <laughs> oh, look at that, yeah, you're right. Seshep <laughs> and Shesep. Hmm. It's the metathesis fence. Yep. Yeah, the metathesis fence. <laughs> huh. Very cool. Yeah, not much more to say about it, apart from that. That's a nice, elegant sign. What else? So our cucumber frame, that will stick with me now. Um, a P, a stick. P is straightforward as long as you're not distracted by the stick touching it. Right, it, it looks a little bit like a G, right? Um, like as if it had a... Yeah. The beginning of a G here, but no, it isn't. It's just a stick. 
add a top on it, but yeah. And then a ligature for ta. Ta. I think for now we're used to that. Yeah. And then, yeah, a nice ligature for the yeah, the, the and, root and the many emblem are all tied together. Yeah, isn't it? You're right. So the the oot he does all the time, right? The, the like the little, the big oof. Come on. Yeah, exactly. The big u and the little t. But now he's binding that over, and that's interesting because that tells us how he makes that scepter. Maybe. I'm not mm -hmm. sure that's how this works. I mean, the only other option would be you're coming up, you're going down, and then you add this at the end. That was actually what I wanted to do at first. I was thinking like, do this and then just complement it. But it could also be do this, come in and then go down. Somehow that doesn't feel right. I like the, the other version better. Hmm. Is there a way how to figure this out? Looks like it could be either one in the picture, like. Yeah. Oh, like the diagonal goes down further than the horizontal that starts the, the, the stick. But that could be one motion or two, I think. I think there's only one way to find out. Uh, well, not only one way, but maybe that's the easiest, 044. Let's look at this again. Let's keep forgetting that Magnifying here doesn't work, sorry. Yeah, you have to click on the picture and then scroll zoom in on the scroll. image server. I mean, this here, for example, suggests like a continuous line and then adding this thing later, which felt right to me. That, that felt more ergonomic. Um, and the, Again, we're seeing everything through the lens of, so if I look at this here, on the other hand, you would think mm -hmm. left-hand side, right-hand side, go down, do something. There's a research project for you. And, and one thing always to keep in mind is this is somebody's interpretation from a hundred and something years ago. Doesn't mean that that's the original sequence. Although I give whoever actually did all the work a lot of credit. Was that Muller? Was that his assistant? Especially those guys who made all these facsimiles before photography was good enough and printing was, yeah, you know, before photography, I guess, was good enough to include actual photographs of papyri. You had somebody, some assistant there, copying every single glyph and making it, making it real. I mean, that is a level of skill. When you look at something like papyrus of Ani or something, those are all, those are all no photos. They are hand redrawn, which is kind of amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. So I don't know, I'll take a rain check on this one. I'm not sure. <laughs> Next one's easy. It's our old friend from the first page. Um, N, set, area, um, bird on a stick, one, I like how you just dismiss the white one with roll strokes is easy because we've seen it before. It it still looks like a guy with a hat with a feather in his cap to me. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> I was actually, actually just thinking the same thing. Uh, <laughs> for something. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely right. <laughs> That's what it looks like. But luckily by now we know this one too. So. Honestly, it's the thing about yeah. having, like, if you come to it without having spent a bit of time on it, it it looks daunting once you're getting a bit used to it. The law of science is like, yeah, sure, that's what it is. Um, <laughs> our her, Jed, the long ma, we've seen that before. Little arm, little T. Then the, it almost looks like an S, the, the shoe glyph. Guy with a feather in his cap. Mm -hmm. 
There he is again. That literature <laughs> that they, he always does. Then there's our little Seth here. Yeah, not really. What else? The um, um, tiny goose, giant. The zabird is is weird. Mm. 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 Actually, I guess, no, I guess that's the same as we've seen before. It's like a, it's like a paw bird without the wings. Exactly, it's a paw bird without the wings. Right, just like that. Yep. I mean, without that. <laughs> Without that, it's confusing because it has that another it's a little too, too yeah. Minimalistic. Mm. <laughs> What's that? You can see how he makes the news. It's clearly really one, two, three, which is the only thing you can do with a read. You can't do something like this. It's not going to look nice. So you can see that there's clearly another stroke here coming down, and the sky. With that little thing that half the texts have, and I don't know what it is. Um, and I guess this is a T, but really only from context. And a really long snake. The cobra is not very clear either. I mean, you can only tell because it's so big. No, yeah. and he usually makes that really beautiful too. His cobras are usually really elegant. That one's kind of like. Hmm. Right. Normally he does this. And this one is somehow. Who knows? Why? I guess because he can. <laughs> okay. Should we go on? Oh, by the way, I looked it up. It is cucumber. Shesep is cucumber. So that's why. We think that. Oh, the word is the same word. It's the same word. Yeah. No kidding. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> Cucumber grid. Oh, nice, really? thanks. Oh, Nura is back into action. Should I or Ralph? Do you want? Uh, do you want to? Uh, I can try. So, winning. Um, in what? Oh, that's Anuris, right? I, I remember. I think it's Anuris, yeah. With the, the her. That's Anuris, yeah. In, with that way glyph for whatever reason. Yeah, okay. I can't remember how you how you pronounce it, but. Her. It's her. In her. Her? Okay. Mm -hmm. The, the way so glyph her. Is, is a her, a funny uh, okay. her. I mean, The her is the. Right. And it doesn't match up with Anuris because that's the Greek version. Okay. So in her. <clears throat> Pena uh, Djibouti, so Anuris and together with um, Thoth, Ashsegabu uh -uh, Erjed, so they, um, they give a great shout uh, to say, I uh, ertu dita, and then we need to go around, uh, I think it's Yout. Sorry. Yep. Yout F. Ta Yout F. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so Honoris and Thoth give a great cry and they say, um, So I tried to bring it on the screen so I could see all. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was confused about this. So they say give the the office to him or give him his office, I guess. Something like that. So they no? Okay. It doesn't make sense to me in context, so maybe I misunderstood. But wait, where are you seeing F? Am I looking at the wrong line? I see ta there's F at the beginning of the next line. Ta yao def. Isn't it yao def? I don't see ta and no. Yaut and Sen. Yep, Sen and Mut. And Sen. Oh. I think that makes more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, I miscopied <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. So, yes, and then they shout, no, give it. So, so, E irt to, so that's the, the imperative again. Uh, give the office to his, to the brother. Is that an imperative, though? 
I mean, it has the, the E no? in front of it, but I'm wondering if it's something else. Yeah. Um, hang on, also looking at my notes here, but I mean, if you look at it, right, what did you say? Um, give the give the office um, to the son of the, um, sorry, to the brother of the, the mother. Okay, and then how does it go on? Um, While the son of Het is standing up. Oh, standing, like standing right here, basically. Standing, right, is here. Yeah, the son of. So who's the son of Het? Of Het. I, I took it to mean the bodily son, like. The, the the son his very oh. own son his, yeah uh, the flesh like oh, son of his of the of his flesh his his flesh is here right. Right, right so why are you giving it to the brother when you could be giving it to the son right so I think the the ear two is probably a second tense um, or emphatic form whatever you want to call it um, like, is it that we should give the, the um, left sentence here, is it that we should give the office of, that we should give the office period to the son of, oh, sorry, yeah, 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 yeah. son and son, uh, to the brother of the mother, so to the uncle, when the, um, like his own son is standing right here, or being- His own here. son being here. Right. Mm. I see, so it's more rhetorical question. Yeah, that makes more sense in context. It does. Um, the thing is, so what we've often seen is um, something like this introduced by East, and you have it right down here. Is um, is to uh, is he writes Isud? Okay, I would have expected is to, but in any case, like that's for rhetorical questions normally, and then followed by a second second tense verb. Um, yeah, here is no is for whatever reason. So apparently you can do it without. Or maybe he's really running out of space. I mean, this is kind of squished down here. It's a mm -hmm. lot. Of Even the R jet is like super squished together. Okay. Well, hieratic, anything of note? The onuris, I mean, it sort of makes sense, right? Normally we read this one ine, in, in, in Coptic it's ine. So in, in, it's interesting that in Greek that's an on, an onuris. And then the H regularly falls out in Greek, so on hure would become on nure, I guess. And they just tag an S on because, hey, it's it's a nominative, so it needs something. Yeah. So that makes some sense. Maybe that sort of makes sense. I think it does. I mean, as long as you write horrors with uh, with her, um, I mean, sorry, with her, with, with the way glyph for her, on hure, on nure. I buy that. So we have our little way glyph here, the way it always looks, sky, word on a stick, really ligatured, hana, together with. Hana, yeah, they can see all the pieces. Mm -hmm. It's a beauty, it's right. the way it often looks. The combo glyph that he always does. I thought it was interesting that this diagonal on Ash is so long, like it's this like graphic illustration of how loud they're shouting. This year? Yeah. I think what happened there is it normally that long. I think it's the answer to what's going on with this year, right? Um, oh, yeah. it's actually connected to the F. I think it's just no, it's just the line extending, like the descender going really far down. Okay. That's not actually part of the mm. the ash. I don't think so. So we Although, should trim that out. <laughs> yeah, you're right. We should, I guess, huh? And then Osh Segab, which 
Osh is still there in Coptic, that's why I'm smuggling an O in. So I guess Ash Sigab, Ash Sigab. Finger looks like it normally does. Yeah, is it though? It looks to more mouth. Like to me. Uh -huh. Does it look weird? Know. It does look like this. I'll take it back. You're right. <laughs> yeah. It does look like this. That's how it generally looks. You're right. Mm -hmm. Because it also doesn't that become doesn't that become Hori later? If I'm not mistaken. Wish I I mean sort of looks like this, right? And I'm trying to remember, isn't this one of the demotic combinations that becomes one of the Coptic letters? And I thought that was Oh, oh the Coptic Hori. I thought so, but I, I mean, no I thought there was something like this, but um, let's make that a question mark. I'm not sure if that's true, but uh, I remember seeing that somewhere in a chart that that's supposedly the, the evolution. Um, our big sign uh, with a little, little uh, book roll underneath. This is really super squished. Yeah. This part here is clear. That's hard to read. Yeah, this part's still good, but then it gets funky. I mean, year two, D, but the T on under the the mm. D is a bit weird. It is. I mean, yeah, that's weird. You're right. Normally, he would do. Normally it would be narrower or something. Like he did a normal signed one, but everything around it is squished, so it looks too big. Mm. Although I think I got it. He's just trying to do this, the normal thing, like T, and then come yeah. up, and then do his thing to go down. Uh, there's some smudge or break in here that makes it yeah. look... Then like a really tiny tar in the upper left corner. Okay, that works. Oops, next one. Yaud. Well, look at that. I think that answers our question from before. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that oh, look at that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Couldn't do it. Mouse yeah. is skin, but you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty clear. <sighs> Can't do it with a mouse. <laughs> um, you think that's, that's, um, Descending and not left to right, that second. Oh, you mean this thing sure. that, that goes out like that? Yeah. Oh, good question. I don't know. Suppose it could. The little hook at the top right makes me think yeah. it starts. It's yeah, left the hook to right. Really and then looks through. like it. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you're right. I think you're right. That's also very doable with one of those, those blade like tips. You could do that. Just go up and. That actually makes more sense than what I was thinking. It's just that everything normally goes down. You see, everything has that downward slant to it. Mm -hmm. um, but then that's not universally true. Like for example, the one, um, hmm, where do we have one here? The one definitely goes up a little bit, like the first ear, the second ear, and then it goes down. So why not? Yeah, you're right. I think other ones we've looked at look, look like they go, descend from right to left, but this one looks left to right. So he yes. might not even be consistent in the way he's writing it. Maybe, I don't know. No, I think you're right. This, this looks, this feels more natural to me, what, what you proposed that um, it goes that way. I feel like it also goes with the ligature with the, the ta. Mm -hmm. But the oot, I guess. Because the T comes around like it often does, but it doesn't connect anything, except like it connect to the motion if he goes up there. Do you see what I mean? The, the you mean the, the W the and then the T, and then yeah, but there's no it. connection. But often he does connect something like that. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. It's weird. Well. I would say a bit more intuitive than what we had before. That makes sense to me. Then feathered, feathered uh, sitting man. 
<laughs> Sin, we haven't really looked at that one, yeah. have we? Yeah, we haven't looked at Sin before. Well, let's do it. That's not what I would expect it to look like. You're right, no? That looks quite different. Um, Big old ball on top? Let's see what it's like normally. Um, phone, phone word. Should I type my number in there? That's not what I wanted. I guess I should learn some of those glyph numbers. Here we go. Well, that's ours. T22. Yep. There we go. <laughs> middle Kingdom, Old Kingdom, Middle Kingdom. This one here looks a little bit like what you would expect from the hieroglyphs, but all the other ones don't. It's like the one next to that one, yeah. it's as if it's inverted. And then that inverted version just gets rounded off. It's like, mm -hmm. I don't know why you would do that then. And the New Kingdom examples below are a lot more like what we have with the big ball on top. Mm -hmm. And we know how to make and it. The very definite horizontal. It's some kind of handbag hook with a, with a, a thing at the bottom. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to come up with an association. Um, yeah, it's just what it looks like. We'll probably want to look at like cursive hieroglyphs, book hieroglyphs, what it looks like there. I mean, mm. is this just a top part and then they simplify the bottom extremely or are there any variations i really don't know but looking at that is interesting hmm. yeah okay well i'll just take it as a given for the moment little man and um a really slim vulture I mean, that doesn't look anything like what we had before. Is it under Mu or under Mu? Water, water everywhere, that's not it. Mood. It's a G14. Thank you. <laughs> How do you do that so quickly? Do you have um, a list printed out or something? I have a bookmark and Alan sign list and ah. I remembered it's a bird, so it's in the G section. Gotcha, yeah, that's true. So that's what we've seen so far in the text. Very elaborate birds. Is there a short version? Like how some glyphs have a short version, like the, the olive bird. And I think that's what it is. It looks a lot like that row. Ah, cool. yeah. Well, it says mother. So I guess that's a simplified version just for that word. So I guess you have to learn that as a combo. Almost like a rounded sun with a, a T and an egg. I guess I'll just commit yeah, that to the moon. Except in ours, the T isn't there. There's just the egg. Let's have a look. I thought there was like some kind of coming down on the side. Yeah, this one here. Mm. They do that in the middle kingdom. Oh, the, you say the coming down on the side is the T? Yeah, definitely. Because for example, like how many years before that? Like a thousand years before that, he cannot let us. When he writes NT or NTET, the, the relative pronoun. He does that so, yeah, started and then started. He does that like this. Then here's the second part. So it's sort of, and I think okay. that's going on here. Um, I think that here is the first T. So, so that little foot is actually the T and then the, the loop there is the, the egg. Yep, pretty sure that would make sense. And then the egg is super flat. Several of them do that. They do this, yeah, squished egg. Hmm, so this is funky, huh? I wouldn't have figured that out right away with the 
that combo here. Why does he? That's oh, also no. a continuation of the line above. It's the W coming all the way down to touch. Uh, the, that's what <laughs> makes, <laughs> it makes way more sense. That's why it's so confusing. Okay. Yeah. And this year is just a bit. That's why it's confusing. Well, that's yeah. funny. It joins up so perfectly with the bird on the stick. Right. That it looks that, like uh, yeah, that's. I mean, there, yeah. there is such a shape, right? That that exists, but um, okay, that makes way more sense. <laughs> okay, our our hit the body can be as simple as this, or with like some Same. extra. And then the flash sign. Yeah, that's kind of funny, the little figure eight thing. Right. Yeah. I've seen it before, though, like something similar. I've seen it like sort of almost like a leaf, something like that. It doesn't look very much like a hieroglyph. Um, it looks like a third H, kind of. Yep, yeah, a bit, right? Doesn't it? I mean, there is, there's a few, like there's the, you mean this puppy, right? The, the mm -hmm. phlegm, 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 phlegm. Um, and then there's the island glyph, the, the one that, the glyph looks like this, but the hieratic sort of looks like a, like an infinity sign, kind of like that, similar to the, but not as rounded, more flat and with a very pronounced middle S curve. And then this thing, um, Ralph, could you check your, your glyph list again? Because that's an interesting one, the, um, the flash thingy. The one we just looked at. Yep, I'm looking. Gives me a chance to eat something. F fifty one. Here you go. So here's the one that looks almost like a tadpole yeah. that I was thinking of. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Thank you. Or a leaf. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Little kingdom. My scribbling's hmm. out of way. So yeah, why exactly? I mean, this here is kind of. I mean, this really looks more like tap, 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 like three strokes. But I would swear what he's doing here looked more like this to me, honestly. But none of those forms match. Yeah, that's how it looks to me. Mm -hmm. I can't reconcile any of these with what we're seeing. Maybe this one a bit. I mean, that's a little bit like a, I don't know. Let's look at this again. That almost looks like a little R, sort of, or T, or, I mean, it doesn't look like the, like the, the, the because, it seems to be going up in the middle, not at the bottom. There was mm. like, yeah, it goes up in the middle, and then he lifts his pen before he does the second. Yeah, song. exactly. Well, hey, it's his text. There we go. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> at least the aha is normal. <laughs> at least the aha is normal. Yes. Okay. All right. We have three more minutes. Yeah. Attempt the next sentence. Can and then we just just stop because the Miriam is, is going to come right after. Uh, but let's see. Jed in Jed in Sa Sahor, I guess. Or is it just Sa? Maybe just Sa, huh? Um Neb of how do we pronounce this one? I mean, Wait, I think I think we have a mistake here. I, yeah, think that, I think that's meant to be ba. It's the, the wrong bird. That's a ba bird? It's a yeah. ba bird. The, oh. With the, because this is ba nebjede. Oh. Ba nebjede, yeah, there you go. 
that makes more uh, sense. It's that, just a transcription error. It's, you know, the bobber with the next thing. That makes more sense. Yes, you're right. Scribal error. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> on our part. Yeah. Scribal error on our part, yeah. <laughs> 21st century scribe. What line is that? That's five, seven, five, six. If you could do that's seven, you're right, seven. But that makes way more sense. I was starting to, to go, I mean, starting to swim here. Okay, so then set by Barn um, uh, 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 the god. Wait, just the god? No pa? That's interesting. No pa? Oh, the great god, that's why. So natural R, the great god, the great living god, natural R, Anach. Akjad, who lives forever. Again? Sorry. It's that's the great god who lives forever, right? The great living god. Akjad? Yeah, oh, but why forever? Oh, the Jed. Because of the Jed. I thought the Jed is- that's, that's that's Jed. Jed. Oh. Forever's jet. Oh, tea. it should be jet. Yeah, with the T. Oh. I think is it's there another transcription funny. error? <laughs> no, I think this is just no. say. Great God it's said. Oh, it's just said. I think. Oh, uh, okay. It's just interesting the quote. Look, yeah, look at the hier um, the hieratic. He squeezed that in. Oh, oh that should be what? in red. Here, I'm looking at the, the gardener here, and there's a correction here. That jet is actually, yeah, see it? Yeah, it's a correction. Or it's an addition. It's an addition, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he squeezed that in. Okay. So saying, ist ihr du dit ta yaud en, en whom? En pa ajed, you, you se, sute josef pa, pai, paif, paif his, um, san, san a, -a Ache. Okay, so what do we make out of this? What does Barnett should say? He say, shall, is it that one shall give the office to, like the little boy, Pa Ajit, the, the little boy, we had that before, that was that thing with the, the, the bad breath, um, being Seth, his brother, and in this case, Hith, I think is Osiris, not, uh, not, uh, not Horus, his brother, um, his elder brother, son, uh, his elder brother is standing here. So that makes sense. Hmm. All right. Okay, so this is the core of the argument. Should it descend through the, to the son or should it go to the, the uncle, the brother? Exactly. Direct line or age? Should it be the elder brother or should it be, be the son, his own born son? Well, let's see how it goes on next week. There we go. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. For those who celebrate the 4th, have a great 4th. You too.